I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I call this exercise Siamese Force because we're going to pre-select categories and then force hands in those categories. This is a great way to push yourself to play hands that you might not normally play. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. There's the categories we're going to force. We're going to alternate between player one and player two. 28 tiles for player one, 27 tiles for player two. Look at these tiles. Oh my goodness. We have three jokers. North, east, west, south. Pairs in north and west. We have red and white dragon pairs. Down here, two, three, five, six, eight. Pairs of five and six. Here we have two, eight in bams. And then here we have one, four, six, seven, nine in cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you force? And what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would play wins with dragons and then two through six pair hand. This is going to take work, but here we're set. We could this hand is one away from ready because we have a pung right there. We could pung the west, kong the red for the news dragon hand. Be ready on a south, actually. We need a pair there. We could maybe use this as joker bait. And then we have a gap. We have two gaps. We need a flowers, and then we need four dots in here. We really don't need this eight. Two, three, two through six and flowers with the dragons. So winds and dragons pair hand. I think that's how I would play that. The other thing you might think about is keeping this eight. If we get seven bams, or maybe pung here, use this for the seven. If this doesn't come in, play five, six, seven, eight. Or if we do get the four, hold this seven, because then we could play four, five, six, seven, eight. That would be the fifth hand down under consecutive run. So I think I would hold those if the pair hand doesn't work. And that's because we have a gap. No flowers, no fours. So really two gaps. I would hold those for consecutive options. This is a winner. Singles and pairs, wins and dragons.
jokers, flowers, northeast, white, green, one, two, five, six, nine, pair of sixes in cracks, one, two, five, nine, pair of fives in vams. We have one dot, two, four, six, pair, pung, pair. Wow, look at that. If these were your tiles, which of these would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would play two, four, six, eight, and like numbers with fives. This is how I would do it. Like numbers with fives, maybe with dragons, if we can get the red dragon. I would keep the twos because if we build up these, we can let those go. Whichever one comes in, since we have them, I would hold them. We could also maybe play a year hand that is up there, but I think the stronger potential is with like numbers because of the multiple. Then down here, I would probably play two, four, six, eight, and two suits and use this for the eight cracks. The other thing that we could do is use these with two, four, six, eight if we get the eight dots for the second hand down. So either the, actually it's the, let's see where, oh, fourth hand down. Let's see, third or fourth hand down. Cause we could do two, four, six, eight, or two, four, six, eight, which we have a gap and it's a pair. So we would have to use these in here if we can get the eight dot. The other thing that I was thinking is like numbers with fives, two, four, six, eight, but we could maybe do a year hand and then like numbers with sixes. We would use this, but the challenge there is all that would go away and this, all these tiles right here would go away. Do you see all those discards? That's why I think two, four, six, eight was a much better opportunity. Two, four, six, eight, two different hands potentially then like numbers with fives or like numbers with twos, whichever comes in. I would start by discarding the wins, then the ones and nines. Two, four, six, eight, and like numbers. Okay, we need to make a year hand work and three, six, nine. It's gonna take some work, but I think we can do it. Jokers, flowers, northeast, pair north, pung of dragons, red dragon, two, three, four, six, nine, nine crack pair, two, three, five, pung of nine dots, two, three, four, seven, eight. So, we might even be able to do maybe the big ear hand with news. Let's see.
Okay, 369 year hand. So we wouldn't need this if we play the big year hand with news. We need more twos. I would keep this though, just in case. I would keep this too, because if the big year hand doesn't work, we could do another year hand, either the concealed hand or twos with dragons. And the three, six, nine, three, six, nine, I would gather. If I had to pick a hand, which one? It would be one with no flowers, probably. We have three, six, nine with Kongs of nines. Three, six, nine with Kongs of nines. Or, let's see. I don't think I would play the concealed hand because we have too many jokers. We, are, we may be playing a pair hand down here. So I think I would want to try to use the nines with no flowers. Three, six, nine. I think I would just gather until we run out of discards and make it work. But I think that there's enough to work with here. This could be a winner. It would take work though. Let's see, three, six. Yeah, we don't have enough sixes. Three, six, nine, and mix. No, we have nines. I was thinking three, six, nine, and mix suits. If we had more flowers, I would probably try the pair, the concealed hand, but we have a gap, no six dots. And you can't use a pair with jokers because it's single pair pung. Single pair pung. We would only be able to use one joker, and then we'd need flowers and a pair of six dots. That's why I would probably try three, six, nine with Kongs of nines and use these for the nines. That's how I would do it. Year hand and three, six, nine. You know the other, if we're going for a year hand, it would have to be in the year category to win a prize. So to use these, I'd probably let the wins go. Use these as joker bait. Focus on the dragon hand, probably. We have a gap, no green dragon. So maybe play the first hand or the third hand. Hold these for joker bait. Because if you play the pair hand, you wouldn't win a prize for the year category. Even though it's a year hand, it's a different category. Some people like to do something called the dot challenge. When you do the dot challenge, you try to play every hand on the card and win. When you win a hand, you mark it with a dot. Playing Siamese Mahjong and forcing hands is a great way to complete that card. If you have a set of tiles at home, give this exercise a try. You'll see how you can force hands in pre-selected categories. Just by rearranging the tiles with a little bit of vision, you can make it work. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.